Hey, this is Darren and Cassiana here. So we are discussing how to fix a broken pipeline or how to bring a merge request more present. If you're trying to merge a merge request that has been sitting around for a long time and it's thousands or tens of thousands of commits behind the target branch, sometimes you need to bring that up to speed. So currently there's no great way to do that in the web IDE. So you have to use terminal and for non-technical people, this can feel really daunting. So I wanted to walk through the process of doing this uh, because I've had to do this before and Cassiano wanted to learn, so I figured I would record it and then anyone else who needs this uh, will have a video to do it. So I'm gonna share my screen first. So what we're currently looking at is a merge request that is 21,000 commits behind the target branch. And so although this has passed pipeline, we have nice green checks here. For the purpose of this example, we're going to assume that the pipeline had failed or you just wanna bring it more current before you merge it. Uh, and so there is a handbook page on edit this website locally. And I'll leave this link in the YouTube description. And if you scroll down, one of the subheads is how to solve a broken pipeline in a merge request. So I created this section after I needed to figure this out and uh, someone in web development helped me figure this out. So the key step to begin with is to follow the necessary steps to edit locally. So this will walk you through the process of setting up your terminal so that you can actually do the rest of the steps below it. So that process took me about 20 to 30 minutes. It's a great step-by-step -step guide. I'm not gonna go through that in this video. Suffice it to say, if you click on that link and follow the steps, you'll be in good shape to have the terminal set up. And so uh, after you have the terminal set up and you open the terminal window, you walk through the steps below to bring the merge request uh, current and then hopefully fix the broken, broken pipeline. So I'm gonna stop sharing and then I'll allow uh, Cassiana to share because she wants to walk this through on her own for the first time uh, and uh, hopefully apply this to the merge request. Wonderful. <clears throat> Thank you, Darren. <clears throat> so <laughs> now I'll share my screen with my um, GitLab page that I'm working on as well as my terminal. So here we go. Finding that and share. And now you can see the same uh, merge request Darren was speaking of and the terminal window. Perfect, all right, so we will start on step one. And so if you have configured terminal uh, the way that it was listed in the handbook, you'll start by typing cd space www-gitlab-com. Oh, so the space was... Um, oh, sorry, yes, yeah, cd yep. space. Space, yeah, dash gitlab-com. And so this is in the handbook as well. Uh, and then press enter on that. All right, good deal. Now I've been told that if you set terminal up differently than what is listed in the handbook, which is possible, people can set it up differently, that some of these steps, uh, especially the first step, um, your root directory could be different. So just a heads up there, but if you follow the steps in the handbook, this would apply. So next is to type git uh, space checkout space master. And so this is in the handbook where you can uh, copy and paste that as you, as you, uh, if you want to as well, okay? And then get space pull would be the next. All right. Now the next step is where you're gonna to have to pivot over to the actual merge request. So I start by typing get space checkout and then another space. And so then here you go over to the merge request, which we can see there. And at the very top, you'll see, uh, we're almost at the top, request to merge. And then there's two little boxes into master. Do you see that? So if you hover over those two boxes, it'll say uh, copy. Yeah. So if you click that, I think it, yep, there we go. Copy branch name. So click that and you'll copy it. And then you'll go back over to terminal and you'll paste it. So basically you're pasting whichever uh, merge request you're working with here and you'll paste that there and then press enter. All right, so now we should be able to merge master into this. So if you type git space merge space master, 
This will take the changes from the current master and merge them into that local branch. Mm -hmm. So this is really important. If you created a merge request while master was broken, it's never going to pass pipeline. And so if, mer if the master has been fixed, you then want to merge that latest master into your branch so that it can continue to pass pipeline. All right, so at this point you would type colon Q and then return. Okay, I guess I'm up here. And you don't, it, uh, it shouldn't matter where the cursor is. Okay. You should just be able to type it okay. as long as you're on, right, okay. colon Q, return okay. keystroke. Uh, or enter. Followed by a return keystroke. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and now we'll type git space push. So this will take your local machine files and push them out to the cloud. So ideally what would happen at this point is once that process is completed, if you're over on the merge request and you refresh it, you should see a new line in discussions, which we do at the very bottom where you'll see that the new master has been merged into that branch. Mm -hmm. And so you'll also notice that although this had passed pipeline, so there was a green check mark, what this also does is it uh, kicks that pipeline check in again. So you'll see that the pipeline now is running. And so uh, in theory, if the pipeline was broken beforehand, it would go from broken to running and then it would pass pipeline. And then once it passes pipeline, you're free to merge. So at this point, you would be, you would be done with the process. It was as easy as that. By far, yeah. the more difficult thing is actually <laughs> setting up a uh, terminal in advance. But the steps in the handbook are, are really good. It worked for me. It obviously worked for you. So I'm pretty happy with that. Yes. But in a nutshell, that's how you do it. So if you hear people talking about rebase to master, yes. this is essentially what they mean. And there is another alternative way to do this, uh, but this is a pretty quick and handy way to do it. And so if you want to bring a super old merge request to present, or you want to fix a merge request that was created while master was broken, that's how you do it. Hope it was useful.